Man, I am absolutely shattered. Houdini, the van, the car that I've grown to love over the last few months has been stolen. Stolen on Friday night and I am absolutely shattered. Uh, fortunately, I do have insurance and there will be a payout. I've got the ute today, so at least we can go out cruising for a trip to the thrift. You can show your support by hitting the like button on this video. If you get anything out of it, guys, I am a little bit down and out, but I fingers crossed we'll find a heap of items and that will no doubt make me feel a heap better. I'll be showing the items that I pick up. I'll be showing you what they go on to sell for. If you get any value out of it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you in the first three. boy what an absolute start to the day guys i'm very very happy with the way we've been able to kick things off here a lot of really cool stuff i'm going to start with the football gear that i found this was the brazilian football club palmeiras and i've probably stuffed that name up but i've not come across any brazilian football club clothing um too often to be honest this is a genuine adidas jersey it's a size large it's their 2017 strip had a bit of a look into it i've paid 12 dollars for it now i talk quite a lot about trying to put on my international postage so this is going to be a perfect test for that some brazilian soccer gear i've also found the jumper as well now this is a puma jumper uh, again though the same football team and i thought i'd grab it as well for 12 dollars. again it's a size large and it's their home team strip so found a jumper there and then another one that i think is like a goalie jumper potentially um again just the same team genuine adidas product size large palmeiras brazilian football club so Look, I paid $36 for those three items, but I genuinely believe that they'll all sell for around the 50 bucks. So we're talking 150 for $30. So I definitely thought it was worth it. Um, guys, I always talk about Nina Pasadena. Just found some cargo shorts. We're only talking a size 32 waist here. Um, I don't think I'll get a massive amount for them, but whenever I see the brand, I just like to pick it up. Only cost me $8. I'll try and turn it into 30 free postage. Um, I found the book series as well, guys. Check that out. It was almost like it was lined up for me. Only a dollar each for every single book. Now, I've had a bit of a look into it. First of all, the author, one to look out for, guys, is Rachel Kane. You want to be looking out for Rachel Kane. And then this is the book series, The Morganville Vampires. Now, there are 15 books in this book series. I have 11 here. So I'm going to spend the remainder of the day looking for the other four or other, yeah, other four that I need. Um, to get a complete set of 15 because the comps for 15 books was incredible. Now, I've just paid $11 here for these 11 books. Um, hopefully, I can find the other four to make a complete set. Uh, but I even think I could sell these as a set of 11 and I'd still get quite a bit of money. So an $11 spend there, not too bad at all. Definitely look out for that book series because it goes on to sell for a few. And the holy grail, guys. Oh, my goodness. Where are you kidding? This is probably the best pair of shoes I have ever found in the thrift. And have a look at that. I have paid $6 for it. We're talking the Nike Vapormax Flyknits, guys. These are an incredible pair of shoes. I'll probably go upwards of $120. Even in used condition, it's a US size 10. And it's in very, very good condition off first glance. So I'm going to have a bit more of a look into it. But in all honesty... Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. So have a look at that. Unbelievable stuff. The things you find in the thrift, no doubt as a sneakerhead, one of my best items I've ever found this one. So I'm super stoked to grab that. What a way to kick off the day. First off shot down. Let's dive into the second one. I'm feeling really good about it. We'll see you in there.
I'll tell you what guys, you know you've had a good run when they give you a bag like this. Let's get in the car, I'll show you what I got. All right guys, second op shop all wrapped up and a stack of shoes to be honest. We've run off the back of the Vapor Maxes and I've been able to find a whole heap more here. Um, I'll kick things off though with the DVD that I found, the complete seasons one and two of the following. Now the following actually comps really well on eBay. So if you do come across this DVD series, if you can find it, I think there's maybe three and four as well to find. So four seasons total, uh, but I've got a little box set there of one and two. So I think there was upwards of about $25 to $30 for this set and I've only paid three bucks for it. So Thought I'd nick that one, pretty cheap purchase. Uh, and then it was the shoes, guys. The shoes really ran the day for me in there. Um, we've got the, uh, the New Balance shoes here. These are the Fresh Foam New Balance. I've got to do a bit of a, a look into it. There they are there. They're a really nice, clean pair of shoes. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, and I've only paid $8 in the end for these. So they are a men's eight and a half. Uh, really, there it is there. How good's that? Jeez, they look a treat. Um, they'll go on to sell 50 bucks, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I've also found these Vans as well. I picked these up. I thought they were looking pretty good as well. I generally sell Vans for about 40 to $45. They're just such a common shoe. So many people wear them. Um, so it's a good item to resell and they generally can hold pretty well. See the soles there? They haven't really been touched. Uh, I paid $8 for these and they are a size women's seven and a half. So uh, quite a nice uh, pair of Vans there. Another pair of Vans as well. Um, yeah, just the the black and the and the brown uh, ten dollars i paid for those they are a size men's us8 uh, so not too bad and then i found the nike tempos how good are those footy boots nice pair of yellow nike tempos um these are a size us nine and a half men's so not too bad there at all and i think i paid eight dollars as well for those yeah i paid eight bucks so guys not too bad there on the uh the shoes uh we've got four pairs of shoes there and a dvd collection um and i reckon i can turn all the pairs of shoes into 50 bucks each so 200 dollars there plus the dvd for 30 i'm going to say 230 dollars worth of resale value right there out of that second thrift store buying just five items so you don't need to buy a stack you can sometimes just buy a few and there's still going to be quite a bit of profit uh let's keep moving oh so number three so far we're going pretty well today Well, I'm pretty happy about seeing that, guys. We've got 50% off clothing today, and I've also got a loyalty card to redeem as well here at Lifeline. So I'm going to save a further 20 bucks off. We've already got a stack of stuff. Let's get into op shop number three. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. guys i truly don't know where to begin here i will say before we get into it that was the greatest op shop run i have ever had there are a quality amount of items here i think we've picked up 25 items but it was the price i've spent just 56 dollars and 50 cents on these items a touch over two dollars per item so as much as i was really trying to cherry pick the best of the bunch i've just gone ahead and also grabbed a lot of stuff um, 25 items of clothing only clothing and i've just sort of grabbed out here um, a few of the items that i wanted to take you through some kind of hand-picked items out of this bunch that i've bought um, that i wanted to have a quick chat about the first one here is tory richard um, i spied this tory richard shirt i've gone on to sell it once before for some really good money there it is there um, half off day in there guys that's why i'm only spending 56.50 um, 
Um, I've paid $2 for this Tory Richard shirt and uh, a short sleeve extra large. It generally goes for about 30 bucks pretty comfortably on eBay. Um, I found a really cool t-shirt as well. I speak a lot about how much I love my American sport and I found a Michigan basketball uh, Air Jordan uh, symbol there as well. So again, I've only paid $2 for this. Um, it's a size large, um, just a standard Nike tee. Um, but that I thought was just incredibly sick. So I had to grab that one. Um, another really good brand as well, Paul and Shark. If you can find Paul and Shark in any form of clothing, you're gonna do really well. Um, I've actually found a knitted sweater in Paul and Shark range and it was going for about 150 bucks. So it's definitely a brand to look out for. I've got a really nice, I think this is a women's polo shirt, really cool striped pattern to it. Um, only paid, I think it was $4 for that. Uh, nope, $2 for that one as well. Um, I found some super dry board shorts. I bought about five pairs of board shorts, a couple of different brands, but the super dry, as you can see there, that is definitely the one to be finding. Um, that's gonna go on to sell for about 35, I would say. Uh, the size on that one was a large. So size large um, pair of super dry board shorts, really cool. Uh, this was just incredible. How good is this retro Sydney City Roosters? Uh, the Sydney Roosters NRL team, the old school Adidas training there as well. Um, some embroidery there on the neck, on the collar. Um, we've got Siemens as well, Mobile, um, Simmons on the back. This is a ridiculous City Ford there, a bit of sponsorship branding. I've got to really, it's kind of hard to show you it obviously in the car, but that one is an absolute Jats cracker, as I like to say. Um, huge get there, and I've only paid $4 in the end for that one. Um, I found this too. Uh, this was a New Zealand Warriors NRL jersey. I've sold these before. They sell for $50 free postage and I've only paid $2 again for that one. So uh, that one was really, really cool. That one was a size, what do we got on that one? It was a slightly bigger, a 3XL. So the big sizes still sell for me, so I've grabbed it. This was very, very interesting. I've never seen this before. Big fish snapper, the old school fishing shirts that you see people wear out in the deep water. Um, so yeah, standard fishing shirt here, big fish and uh, big fish graphics. This one's got a $90 price tag on it and I've paid $2 again for it. So this one was really cool. I'm, I'm very interested to see how this one sells and it's an extra large as well, which is even better. So like new condition, big fish, uh, fishing apparel. We'll see how that one goes, but what a print on it. How cool are they? Incredible. Um, so look, a quick little highlights package there. I didn't want to make this a 45 minute uh, video by going through every single one of these items. They were a couple that I found that I thought would be the most high profit. Um, 25 items in that one, guys. Let's go and finish it off. One more op shop. Fingers crossed we can get exactly what we've just found there. A lockdown sale. Incredible. Guys, have a look at this car. We are, oh my goodness, we're jammed. We are full. I don't think I can get anything more in here. I've been able to source 50 items today and I've spent $325 in total. Um, average cost of goods, $6.50. This has just been an incredible get today. Um, I finished the day with this monster haul of shoes. Um, I'll clip us in and I'll show you a couple of them, but there's 16 pairs of shoes that I've been able to source today. Let me take you through it now. Um, these were awesome. These ASIC shoes, um, incredible. Uh, these are the Gel uh, Pursues. 
Uh, they are a men's, I believe, a men's US 8. Uh, a really nice pair of running shoes. They could go for upwards of maybe $70, I would imagine. Uh, <laughs> these for a pair of Nike shoes. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what they are yet, but I know that they're worth value when they look like that. That model, it's a very new model. It's got that on the back. Um, I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to just sort of being able to pick the name of them. But um, these, these are going to be a lot of money, no doubt about it. These are a size 11 and a half. Size US 11 and a halves, and I've just paid $9 for these. The soles are really good as well. The condition of all these shoes is, is great. Um, I'm really happy with the condition. Uh, Nike's good. Uh, just jumping off the shoes for a second, look at that. I managed to find the book in the series that I bought earlier in the first trip to the thrift. I found, I only needed four out of the 15 to find, and I found book 12, which was one of the four books that I needed. So I couldn't believe it. There was only one of them in the op shop, and it just so happened to be book number 12, another one that I needed. So I'll add that to the, to the bunch, and and, um, that gives me 12 out of 15, just three to go now. Uh, another pair of Nike shoes, um, got to do some research into these. It says Nike training, they're a really mean pair of Nike shoes, pair of black shoes there, uh, US 11 on those. So look guys, let's just call it 16 pairs of shoes, $50 a shoe on average, um, $800 in shoes, no doubt about it, 800 bucks in shoes. I've also got 30 items of clothing that I've sourced for roughly $2 a piece. Um, so this is crazy. This is crazy. There's well over a thousand dollars worth of resale value here, and I've paid three hundred and fifty dollars. It's my greatest uh, trip out, uh, trip to the thrift that I've ever done, and um, I've brought the camera along with me. So it's just been an epic one to be able to show you guys as well. The potential and the opportunity is out there. You've just got to keep on getting out and having a look, um, guys. I've also made a new website as well. It's called the House of Mumba. www.houseofmumba.com.au. It's been designed to try and help you guys out there if you do want to thrift any of these goods that I've been able to grab out in the op shops, uh, you can do so through my new website. So it's a very simple click and uh, purchase. Um, it's a heavily reduced discount. Uh, it's about 20% discount on what I would price them all up onto eBay. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about, hey, can I purchase X item that you've bought out of your trip to the thrift? And I do want to look after you guys. I do want to have a portal that we can basically operate out of um, that's pretty seamless and, and easy and not sort of having to deal with Instagram because that can be a bit fiddly when it comes to posting. So that's the reason why I've got the website set up. Um, um, you don't have to buy it. I'm not trying to say go and buy it, but I will be putting up trip to the thrift items on that website for you guys to go on and check out each and every week. And if you do see an item you want to get, you'll be supporting the channel and I can't thank you enough for doing that. Um, been a massive episode today, guys. I am over the moon, but geez, I am now going to be overworked. There's a lot of work to get done here. I've got to list all these up. I've got to write them into the system. I've got to price them accurately and then go on to sell them. But um, fingers crossed by the time this video comes out, there will be a few of these items on the website for you guys to have a look at. And hopefully they can all sell by the time the uh, what sold comes around on Sunday. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's definitely been one of my best yet. And I can't thank you enough for tuning in. If you are still here now watching this video. So thanks very much, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.